Hey, stranger. You remember me? I remember. It'll cost you. Quarter. What will? To get into the game. Do you think you could stand any closer? I don't like games. Then let's not play any. My room's upstairs. Good. Let's go. Good morning. Guess I had to introduce myself, huh? No names. Why spoil a good thing? Well, how do you figure we'd spoil it? Well, by blowing the mystery. All the usual questions would follow. Instead of concentrating on what's important, we get bogged down with boring details. You really got the drill down, don't you? I've never done this before. That's funny. I wouldn't have pegged you for a virgin. <laughs> or do you just like to keep things simple? That's it. Simple. Besides, I know all I need to know about you right now. I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. I may still have a few surprises left. Things that don't have anything to do with my name, rank, or serial number. I'd bet on that. <laughs> and if you're a serial killer... I'd rather not know. Anyway, I gotta go now.
Did I tick you off with that no-name business? No, not at all. I like the idea. And I like your style. I just... I have things I've got to take care of. Well, like work? Like maybe. Like that's one of those little details we don't want to get bogged down in, you remember? I remember. I can handle it if you can. You know, I have been thinking about this no-name business. And I know where to find you if I have to, but what if you need to find me? I won't. Do you want to bet? No, I like the element of chance. You know, there's this movie, and this guy gets accused of a murder that he didn't commit. But he can't prove that he's innocent because he doesn't know the name of the girl he was with the night before. And he doesn't know where to find her. What are you hinting? I won't be able to find you again. I don't know. Would that bother you? Nothing bothers me. But suppose I get blamed for a murder. And I guess you'll be really happy to see me if I show up again, won't you? And in the meantime, I won't be expecting any flowers from you. these old feelings I have to deal with. At first, it, it was just nice to have someone to talk to. But then we started seeing each other more, and we got closer, and I really wanted something to happen between us. I thought I was ready for it, but I guess I'm not. That's, that's okay. I saw no harm done when we stopped. I feel guilty. I didn't want to lead you on. Don't worry about it. But I don't. I don't have have any bad feelings about last night, so you don't have to feel guilty. I don't want it to change things between us. It's just good. I don't either. But the way I see it, things just just happen when they happen, you know. And there's no no use in worrying it to death. You just move on. I wouldn't even let myself think about the possibility of ever getting to this place again. Or I had such strong feelings for someone else. Someone else besides Stone? Yeah. That's really taking me by surprise. Well, I, I can understand that. I run into new feelings all the time. They sure surprise the hell out of me. Well, I have trouble sorting them out, so... I guess I can't complain if you do, too. 
Well, I must have said something right. Yeah, you did. I feel much better now. <laughs> Good. Dude, I sure wouldn't want to make it feel worse. Love having you in my life, Jason. I would miss you a lot if you weren't there. Well, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and I don't want you out of my life. I trust you. I can say things to you that I could never say to anybody else. Well, I'm not going anywhere either. So, here we are, two people who are going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What do I do now? You understood. See you later, okay? <laughs> Don't work too hard. I won't. Hey. Oh. What's the matter? Aren't you happy to see me? Sure, I'm happy. I'm happy to see you. Well, good. Then why don't you buy me a soda? Had a hell of a day. Day, huh? Yeah, weird day. But it's getting better by the second, and you couldn't ask for a nicer wake-up call. By the way, in case I forgot to mention it, I had a really good time last night. What do you know? The sun just went down again. <laughs> Sorry. I have to be at work in an hour. I pulled the late shows. Aren't you even the least bit curious? About what? About what I do. You know, where I work. Well, there are other things about you that interest me more. But if you want me to start asking questions... No, okay. I'm, just, I'm just checking. There is something, though, that I think we need to settle right up front. If I uh, run into you any place other than here, I need you to pretend like you don't know me. And I'm going to do the same. No problem. Good. Good. <laughs> The only way I want to know you is in the biblical sense. I've got this really complicated life, and a boy on the side is pretty much all I can a handle. A boy but... on the side? <laughs> is that what I am? Or is that like a side order of fries? <laughs> mm, in a way. It means that you don't get to be the main dish, but you're also perfect. A guy who lives over a bar. And is terrific in bed. And doesn't want to know about the rest of my life. And is that going to be a problem for you? No. As long as I know what's expected, I'm, I'm happy to comply. What if I said I didn't ever want to see you again? Would you just be happy to comply? Mm, no, I wouldn't like that. Now, it, it feels like I said something wrong. I get the feeling you don't know much about women outside the bedroom, do you? I guess not. <laughs> Unless there's something else you want and you're not, you're not telling me. Do I act shy? <laughs> At least you know one thing about me. You know something, you just... You just solved a big problem for me. Being somebody's boy on the side is... Oh. <sighs> That's exactly what I needed, only I didn't realize it. Well, good. As long as you don't get possessive and, and ask for more. I promise not to do that. And what makes you so sure you'll be happy to comply all along? Well, the same thing that makes you so sure. I like the way we set it up. It feels right. <laughs> so, you don't have to worry. I won't even ask your name. Good enough? Yeah, I think we're gonna get along just fine. I have to go to work now. Maybe, uh, I'll catch you later. Crawl into bed with you. And don't count on waking me up, because I'm probably gonna have a problem getting to sleep. <laughs>